Well, the Bluegrass Pug Fest returning to Louisville this weekend, and you and the family can enjoy a day filled with pugs, vendors, silent auctions, competitions, and so much more when you head down to the Kentucky Expo Center. Joining me with more on all the fun and some furry little friend guests here is Paul Gillis and Jana Jackson. Jana, you're with uh, PG. PGJ's Dog Park, mm -hmm. one of the big sponsors of Bluegrass. You know, uh, Paul, it's great to have you back to talk about this wonderful event once again. Thanks, Claudia. Here it is, right around the corner this weekend. Right, unbelievable. For people that are not familiar, kind of, what is Pug Fest? Bluegrass Pug Fest is a fundraiser for, for pug rescue organizations across the country. We have about 5,000 people come every year. It started in 2005 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we moved it here last year for the first time and uh, we're in the Kentucky Expo Center and uh, West Wing. And you have a friend here all dressed up kind of to, to remind us what the wonderful <laughs> event is all about. Who is this? This is Henry, he's Henry. a rescue pug. And he is, chilling. he can't wait for the costume contest. <laughs> there so. is a costume contest, There is a costume right? contest, yes. I bet this is just so fun to kind of gather everybody together that you haven't seen like from across the country coming in it's, for something it's like a great, this. Yeah, people come every year. So, so we're looking forward to uh, king and queen contest, custard eating contest, costume contest, photo contest. It's just fun all day long. This is Instagram heaven. It, <laughs> it is. It is. It's one right. of those. It's going to be so fun. Uh, and, and Jana, I love that you guys are, are hosting this um, after paw tea. Paw tea. Paw yes, tea. Absolutely. PG and J Dog Park, right? That's yes. going to be a fun thing. You guys are involved. Why did you want to be a part of this? Um, honestly, because we love what Pugfest Bluegrass, you know, stands for. We want to help them out. Anything that PG and J's can do to give back and save dog lives, we want to be a part of it. So. We thought might as well keep the party going and bring it to the bar. So Henry's tongue's out, my tongue is out. We <laughs> want to see you're going to make a pug loma, one, yes. of, one of the three featured. We are big on puns today. We are. We are. We're having fun with that. Well, so at our after party, we're going to have three after featured party. cocktails, and the pug loma is going to be one of them. So we'll have food trucks and games outside. It's going to be family friendly at the dog bar. Uh -huh. And we'll be drinking and the pugs will be playing and it'll be a great time. I feel like that's a great thing also about your dog park, right? Like it's a it's a fun gathering place any time of the, the yes. week uh, for, you know, little dog parents to come on out and, and get them some time with their friends and they can enjoy a beverage or two. Uh, this is a perfect fit for you all to be a part of this. Yeah. And who is this here wandering all around? <laughs> that, bored with the interview right now? That, right? Oh, bless bored you. with the interview. That is Chance. He's Chance. not a pug, but that's the nice thing about pug fest is they don't discriminate. All dogs are welcome. Yes, all dogs are welcome. Hello, I know we're not paying enough attention to you. Come right over. We're making a pug loma. We, we are. are. And then you have other cocktails too. So Chance doesn't feel not that he's gonna. He have will not a be cocktail, left out. We've got licking lemonades. Oh. We've got rough and rowdy punches. You had a ball figuring out this menu, didn't you? So much fun. <laughs> so we will have our pug pug loma. loma. There you go. Uh, and Paul, I love these these different rescue organizations that it benefits. Right. They from come the from get go, the it was important for you all to make sure that it tied back to them. Absolutely. The the organization <laughs> is nonprofit, all volunteer, and all of our proceeds go to pug rescue organizations. I think people sometimes forget about we we go to a, we. There's so many organizations to help out. Uh, is there a big need to to adopt? Uh, pugs here in this area that um, you're finding that, that your guys are kind of overloaded at the moment? We're not overloaded, but there's always a need yeah. and it's not just pugs, it's all breeds. We yes. just happen to specialize in pugs. Mm -hmm. But like Jana said, any friendly dogs and any friendly people are welcome to come. Love that. Mm -hmm. And all right, you're looking at all the fun things that are going to happen there. They're going to have a king and queen mm -hmm. costume contest, um, competitions as well, right? Right. Different all kinds competitions. of competitions. All right. The custard eating is one of the most popular, as well as the pug races <laughs> with real starting gates. <laughs> so if you are missing the Kentucky Derby feeling, That's you're right. going to get it We're back. at this as well. Well, thanks to Henry for like hanging in there looking cute in the costume and everything. <laughs> and thank you for mixing up the drinks. If you want to head on over, you know, it's all for all dog lovers. This is going to be a great fun event at the Kentucky Expo Center. It's happening this weekend. Just head on over to bluegrasspugfest.org. Chance is like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys.